Hey guys, so I just wanted to pop in with Louie and we just wanted to thank you guys for all your suggestions. So many of you guys just gave the most amazing suggestions for him for, you know, with the fireworks. He was so terrified. But I think he did. You know, he didn't do that bad, guys. Um, like here, you know, you can see now he's not crying. <laughs> and he definitely would have been crying before, you know, I gave him the CBD oil. I, I did have to give him quite a bit though. Like I gave him this morning, I gave him like two of the droppers. It was like 250 milligrams and then he was sleeping for a little while, but then he woke up and he was shaking and crying again. So I gave him a little bit more, like another two. I, I really hope, guys, I'm so worried. Do you guys think that's too much CBD oil for him? Um, he seems normal, though. Like right now, I don't know if you can see. He was just playing with his doll, so. <laughs> um, I'm glad, though, like he was able to like my husband did barbecue and he ate the you know he was able to eat barbecue because usually he's so terrified that he can't even eat like that's how you know he's really terrified because probably like all dogs but he he loves to eat so i give him like fresh turkey slices um you know for the fourth of july i was having turkey hot dogs for them and i gave him his little piece he wouldn't eat it he spit it out that's how i knew that he was like really stressed out because he loves you you guys know what i mean he loves to eat so he actually wound up feeling better i guess if he was stressed out but then i gave him some more cbd oil and he did fall asleep for like half hour but then when he woke up he had some of the barbecue chicken so i was so happy because that's how i knew he was feeling better you know right now he just went right back in his bed so he's probably gonna go to sleep for the night he's so crazy he loves his bed so um i was watching though did you guys see there was like a commercial on tv though with the aspca showing you know how the dogs are abused and I, it looked just like him that's exactly how he looked if you've ever seen those a aspca commercials um when they go in and rescue the dogs that's exactly how he looked when i when i got him his ribs were out his eyes were all messed up his skin was all you know just he was just scream and cry um i know a lot of dogs are afraid of fireworks but he's like super afraid of a lot of things i think because he's been like that since he came to live with us i you know because i know for a fact i'm i'm 100 sure he was abused because the woman that even had him told me like she thought i i talked about this before but um she actually was like bragging to me that she beat the dogs because she thought it was good and so she was telling me yeah i beat the f out of them and um because honest to god guys she thought it was a good idea and she she was really getting into it telling me and i was like oh my god i said you can't do that you know i wound up getting to a huge fight with her but um she did tell me she told me because she thought like i said she thought it was a good idea that she did that she thought it was good so thank god we got him now though it just breaks my heart though guys thinking about all the dogs out there all the animals you know that's why i do give to the aspca like you can set up a monthly donation so i have set up where they do i do give a monthly donation but you know i don't think they never it's the, it's horrible guys you know but i just wanted to come and thank you guys definitely like you beauty said next year i'm gonna definitely make sure actually i might take him this week and get him some kind of medication for when he's having a bad time because it's not the fireworks were the worst but he does have other times when he gets really stressed out so um i'm definitely gonna go talk to the vet about it like one of you beauties had said so thank you so much for that suggestion also you guys had said the thunder coat was a great i, I really gotta get that i had gotten it from my other dog when she passed and i wound up just giving hers away when she passed but i bet i and then i forgot about it I should, so i'm definitely gonna go get another one for him and also like you guys had said bringing them in the bathroom so it turning the music up like i did do that i turn the tv up and um you know just had the fan on really loud and hit him in his bed so when the fireworks were super loud i think you know 
it was better for him, you know. But anyway, guys, I thought I would just pop in and say hi. I hope I just want to thank you guys again so much for all your help. Uh, I'm just wearing today. Now I gotta tell you guys, I had purchased this. This is the Too Faced. Uh, this is with all the puppies on it and the Chihuahua. And I have three Chihuahuas. I love Chihuahuas. So uh, this is the Clover palette. So I actually purchased this pretty much just for the packaging but I remembered I used to love this this was like my first ever palette the uh, peanut butter palette or whatever guys like they had come out with this palette from Too Faced the first one ever and was it chocolate or it smelled amazing the first one ever that smelled like chocolate and I love that palette so much I actually used it up I bought another one um so I thought to myself maybe this is gonna be like that palette so I purchased this one I think all of the money from this palette goes to animal to help animals but um it is so flipping cute I am just so hooked on the Too Faced packaging that I actually love well their eyeshadows a lot of times I don't know what it is I don't know why Too Faced makes such a great face products I feel like their face products are my favorite their foundation their setting powder I love uh, there's so many things from Too Faced I love, but it seems like their shadows never work for me. Is it the same for you guys? But so I actually purchased this, and I again the shadows were not working for me, and I was like so upset because I really wanted to use it. And then I thought, well, I'll give it away, but I really wanted to use this because I mean, I wish I could show you guys, but the packaging is insane, <laughs> isn't it? Just like, oh my god. This kind of thing, it just really just cheers me up when I see it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, look at that clover. Oh. And then here it is inside. So, the colors look so gorgeous. But I don't know. I was putting them on. And I was, like, not thinking, like, I saw any difference. And I was, like, really disappointed. But then today, I used it with my Morphe primer. And, guys, I love it. <laughs> now I really like it a lot um so this is kind of like the look I know this this probably looks like the look I did yesterday but this is just like my my day my new uh go-to look uh you know this is what I like to do for because like today I was just with my mother-in-law my husband you know I don't want to be too glam you know <laughs> with her because this is already extremely glam for her um like I'm not I don't have on lashes today you know we were just having a family barbecue so I figured I'll try this again today for like a kind of natural look. Oh my god. And I really, with the Morphe primer, I absolutely love it. And I used it with my concealer like I usually do with my other palettes and I still didn't like it. But with the Morphe palette, the Morphe primer today, I was like, wow, girl. I couldn't believe it really, you know, came through. <laughs> so it's like really late again, guys. But, um... That's why I'm like so tired and I was like so worried about Louie all day. But I figured I would just share this. If you do have this palette and you're having issues with it, like try it with the Morphe primer. The Morphe primer is like $5. So I think it's an amazing, amazing, amazing purchase. It makes so many of my shadows come out really great. So um, I'm so happy with that primer. And then this color surprisingly looks so gorgeous to blend out like your lower waterline it just makes the most beautiful effect oh my god I absolutely love it I don't know how it looks to you guys but in real life I really I just love the way that looks do you hear this guys my husband is listening to another Netflix he is obsessed with Netflix but anything violent any kind of violent show things like that that's so right now I'm just like somebody's like cursing <laughs> And screaming in the background I don't know if you just heard that uh, hopefully not <laughs> or else I'll get like what is it YouTube striked if you do cursing and whatnot so I also wore today let me see this is the Colourpop cinnamon lipstick I absolutely love this lipstick and I just wore this uh, bad gal bang mascara and I also mixed this one into the Lancome grandiose extreme oh my god I was really wanting to do a video with you guys and try to do it every day and show you the mascaras this one i see a huge difference with also this one is really amazing i was wanting to show you i know i had it on already but i was gonna try to show you guys this grandiose mascara if you're really looking for oh 
I just got mascara. Did you see that right on my nose? Hopefully you don't. Whatever. I'm just, I really want to just, guys, I get so into perfectionism that I really sometimes, like, I want to just make videos and just to come and hang out. I don't want to be this crazy perfectionist and, like, you know what I mean? I just really, but I keep going, getting back, and I can't stop. So, and I really don't want to do that anymore. Like, even now, I do have on a ton of makeup. <laughs> but, I mean, at least... Like, I'm so crazy, I'll be thinking, oh, I have to have lashes to come hang out with you guys. No, I don't want to do that. Like, you guys know that I, you know, uh, but this palette really, really did such, made me, I just love the look it made. And I'm so shocked because without that Morphe, Morphe primer, it did not do, it didn't come out like this whatsoever. So, the Morphe primer definitely is really great with this. I feel so bad now guys though because people are writing, you guys know I'm all into the YouTube drama, the beauty community drama, and now, <laughs> I'm so addicted to it, and now they were saying some more shady things about Morphe, so it makes me feel like should I buy Morphe, I'm so crazy guys, I get too into, I get very into everything I do, I get like 100% addicted to it. <laughs> It's really, it's not good. That's why I'm like 100% I'm addicted to YouTube because everything that I do, like I, not every, well, if I let myself, I will get, I get super, I'll get like a, yeah, I would say I'm addicted. I get, I'm addicted to YouTube. I've told you guys already, so <laughs> it's not like you haven't heard this one before. Um, and then I get all into the drama and then I'm like, like I have to stop and say to myself I'm like well, maybe these people are not even telling the truth maybe they're just lying like tonight I said to myself I was like girl how do you know any of this stuff you're watching or listening to is even true <laughs> like you know what I mean I feel so I mean I'm not some of it I'm just talking about I'm not talking about everybody I'm just talking about in general some of it is like girl you gotta stop I'm talking to myself <laughs> I'm like girl you better some people are just clout chasers, I guess. Is that the word? Like, they're just trying to make videos, trying to say anything for clout. Um, guys, this is the first time I tried this shade Good Boy from the palette. Oh, my God. It's amazing. I'm so shocked. Um, and I haven't tried the colorful shades yet, so I gotta try those next. Like, these beautiful, gorgeous, um, shimmer shades. Wow, this is really amazing now. And I guess I didn't like it before. I was like very disappointed. And I cannot get over the names. Like the, the, like this one is called um, Chihuahua. I think one of them is called Chihuahua. Yeah, this is Chihuahua. So gorgeous. Um, fur Baby, I love that. Um, he, Cuddle Buddy, they're all daddies love me. <laughs> <laughs> love is love save them all there's so many they, the names are amazing i love see like i'll get into the youtube drama like the drama of the beauty community and like remember like jeffree star was saying crazy stuff about Too Faced, and you know what it's like you just have to stop <laughs> like i'll get so into the drama and was like is it true like you know because jeffree star you know i guess they had gotten into like a fight or whatever but wow well, this this is really beautiful that one i just tried is save them all oh my god it's like such a gorgeous chocolatey shimmer. I was going to tell you something else. What was that? But I'll come back because I just want to keep coming and chick chatting and hanging out. So I'll come back tomorrow. I was going to tell you guys about this. Um, or should I tell you guys now? There was like a beauty company. I said, I got to tell you guys the people, you have to be very careful when people write you and they want to send you free products. <laughs> it is not free uh, because they want you to work really like these people will write you date like i have actually been getting like harassed by a company because they constantly constantly write me wanting me to do a post where's a post where's a post and actually making up stories because i never told them that i was going to do a post or a video or anything i said if you want now this was a few months ago i don't even do this anymore now at this point in time i'm not even writing i can't even write i'm not going to write people back anymore unless it's something i 100 percent know that I love and use and that maybe you guys would love would love to use um, because what happened is a few times now they send you they'll say can we send you something to try so like okay I said sure because this was like you know a, a, this could have been a year ago but it's still going on to this day with them writing me and um, so what happens is that 
now they send the product and then like within a day after them sending it they said did you get it did you get first of all they start rating you did you get it did you get it like the day of the same day they mailed it out <laughs> and I'm like no you just wrote you just sent it yesterday I didn't get it yet and so you kind of don't want to be rude so you write back but then they keep writing you and writing you did you get it did you get it so you don't want to be rude so you keep writing them back no I didn't get it it's going on and on like that guys where personally I do have to work I work very hard so I don't have all day to write people back constantly um, because I have a very stressful job that I do a day job <laughs> so on top of it but you know I don't want to be rude and not write people back so anyhow I get the product let's say I do, I have to try it I have to try it for a few weeks it was a skincare product one of the people and um, I kept telling them I have to try it and they were like well we need our post where's our post you told us and they start writing very rude messages to you where is our post where is our post and I'm like girl I need to see how it works I can't tell overnight if if it worked and personally so then with this particular company I wound up telling them I said listen I have not seen any results because I legitimately did, did not now if I had seen results the next day I would have probably been really excited and I'll be like sure I'll do a post but I did not see any results so two weeks go by I still didn't see any results and they kept writing me where is our post where is our post I kept telling them I haven't seen results yet so what do you want me to write about <laughs> do you want me to write and say I did, I'm using this product but I see no results so then they kept writing me so I told them that I said but I said it in a nice way but I was like I'm sorry I don't see any results yet maybe it's gonna take longer um, <laughs> plus to be honest I have my regular skincare that I use now if I use something and I rock my bow if I put it on and it was amazing I, I, I got super excited about it but I was putting it on and my skin was looking not good, nothing was happening. I need my regular skincare that I know actually does something because I'll look in the mirror and see a difference. I was wanting to get back to my regular skincare and they kept writing me, but we want our post, we want our post. They legitimately keep writing you. So uh, another company actually lied because they were writing to me and they were telling me, you know, are you going to do a post or are you going to do a post? So I, I tried the product. I really loved it. And I hate to say this, but I loved it the f when I wore it. And then the next day I wore it again and it started hurting me. So I was like, you know, what am I going to do? I can't say that I like this when I really didn't like it. So the people, and I never, but I never told these people I was going to, do a post or a video or anything and they kept saying where's our post where's our post where's our post and I told them you know I said I told you that I you know I'm gonna try it I said it's not really working that great for me so I don't know what you want me to do I mean mail back <laughs> I actually did mail stuff back to people because they were like yeah mail it back to us so I was like fine here take it back somebody had sent me clip and clip and extensions and they smelled so disgusting i was like are you kidding me they smelled like they like i don't want to and they were greasy and disgusting it was so horrific I, you would never think that this kind of stuff people that's why i said everybody says oh america product this product they were saying oh we're we're a great company made in america they sent me clip in hair extensions that were so disgusting. It felt like greasy, filthy hair. It smelled like greasy, old hair. I know what greasy, dirty hair smells like. <laughs> and I'm not going to get into how. I knew, I I mean, my hair has been great. It gets greasy. Uh, but this hair that they sent me, clip in hair was so filthy. It was like they had, if you told me that they took it, or cut somebody's hair, like a poor person that... They didn't wash it. It smelled somebody that was maybe, I hate to say, but maybe homeless because that's how bad it smelled. And they actually sent me this hair and I was like, and I opened up, it smelled so bad. I felt it with my hands and it felt disgusting. And I was like, oh my God, I cannot use this. I will not put this in my hair. I just didn't even want to touch it. And they were like, but we're a great company made in America. I said, girl, I cannot touch this. It was disgusting. So I actually told them, I'm going to send this back to you. And they kept writing me and writing me. Even though I sent it back to them, I guess they didn't 
get the memo or whatever or get I don't know what the happened but they just kept where's our video where is our post where why haven't you why won't you post I kept telling them I mailed it back to you but they would say you told us you were going to do a post <laughs> I was like, what? I never said that. I had to go back through all my emails, take screenshots, and I'm like, where does it say here that I told you I was going to do videos or posts or talk about you or anything? So you have to be very careful with these people. And I'm writing to us constantly, where's my post? Where's my post? <laughs> it's just like, stop harassing us. But a lot of these companies, does be careful. They're, oh my God, never ends. So anyway. <laughs> Uh, I just came to rant, guys. No, I just came to chit chat, but this is what I, you know, I always talk about with you guys crazy stuff. So, <laughs> I'll let you dolls go. But I hope you're having a great night. Let me know if you've tried the Clover Palette. Let me know what you think. Anyway, guys, I'll let you go. But um, I love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.